Hi, this is Scott Almsberger from Zycar University. It's been a little while since we've done any videos, so I thought we would do a video on how to fill and bleed a tech lighter. You'll want to bleed all lighters before you fill them. All lighters are shipped empty. There's always going to be a little bit of air in the tank. So depress that fill valve on the bottom with an MTX tool bleeder, a paper clip. Don't use an ink pen. You'll get ink in the fill valve. I wouldn't use a sharp object. You could damage that fill valve. But you just want to make sure you want to get all the air out of the tank. There's always going to be a little bit of air in the tank. There's always some air in the can of butane. So don't shake the can of butane, just turn it upside down, seat that fill valve right on the butane can nozzle and depress and you can see it filling. Okay, so we've got fuel to about that level. What I like to do is hit that fill valve one more time, exhaust a little bit of the air out. There's some air. It's going to be trapped in there. Just burp it a little bit, bleed it a little bit, and then seat the can of butane on the fill valve again, and you can see how it now filled it a little bit higher. And you can do it one more time. Just to press on that fill valve, exhaust some of that trapped air in there, and one more time. So now it is almost completely full of butane. After you fill the lighter, you'll want to warm it up in your hand for 20 or 30 seconds. The can of butane filling that lighter, the butane is very cold, so give it 20, 30 seconds. Make sure that you start off with the fill valve adjusted down and ignite. So this tech lighter makes it very easy to see how much butane is in it and the process of filling and bleeding. And that's how to fill and bleed a tech lighter. If you have any other questions, feel free to email us at info at Thanks.